Hostgator versus Namecheap. In today's video, I want to compare these two web hosting platforms so that you can make the best educated decision. What I'm going to do is simply go over the pricing and the features on both platforms so that you can find out which one is going to be the best for you. Before we get into that, I do want to say that I'm not getting paid to say any of this, so please consider leaving a like, that would help me out in the YouTube algorithm. Let's get into it. Starting off with Hostgator, Hostgator is a Houston-based web ho uh, hosting company that offers web hosting. Now they offer a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee, free SSL certificates, an easy WordPress install, free domains for a year, and 45 day money back guarantee. We're on the website right now. If you go to hosting, you can go with shared hosting. You can choose to look at the website builder, which is also included on the platform. So if you want a platform, where you can get multiple functions in one, Hostgator could be an option. But then here we have WordPress hosting. Now most of the websites on the internet are run through WordPress. So this is what I'm going to take a look at since most of you want to start a WordPress website. Taking a look at the pricing, you can see it's pretty affordable. The cheapest plan is starting at just $6 and that will get you one website, 100k monthly visits, 1 GB of backup, the free SSL which I just talked about and the free domain. So the plan varies between $6 and then $10 at most. Now you can see it's a pretty pretty scalable plan. So what you can do is upgrade to the $8 a month one once you want two websites or 200k visits. And then if you want even more, you can buy the best plan, the business plan, which will get you free sites and 500k visits per month. With that being said, let's compare that to Namecheap. So Namecheap is a domain and a web hosting company that's offering all-in-one solutions to grow your online business, website, platforms, or whatever it is that you are trying to do. Now, the features on this website have a meter bandwidth, you can get a free website builder, domain name, and privacy protection, and of course, a free automatic SSL installation, plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you compare the money-back guarantee, to Hostgator, you'll find out that you'll get 15 days less of money back guarantee. So judging by that, you can get 15 days more of money back guarantee on Hostgator. Now let's go to Namecheap. If we go to hosting and then go to WordPress hosting, because that's the main focus of today's video, we can take a look at the pricing plans. For that, I'm gonna click here and there you go. You have two options. You can build monthly or yearly. We're gonna go with monthly for now and then you'll see that whichever plan you choose, you can get a one month free like trial i guess or just the first month for free it's not a trial but you can just get the first month for free now the first and the easiest plan is going to be three euros and 29 cents that's probably close to four dollars next up we've got about six euros and 69 cents and then 10 euros so these plans are pretty affordable as well if we compare them to hostgator you can see that the best plan here is cheaper than the plan than you can see that all the plans on namecheap are cheaper than on hostgator and that fits the name really well now of course this is in euros so if you translate this to dollars if you convert it it's going to be more so the plans on namecheap are going to be cheaper than on hostgator now what i like about namecheap is that they've got a very easy to use interface so most other web host interfaces are pretty like unorganized but this one is really organized making it easy to use especially for beginners they also have a great knowledge Knowledge base so if you're trying to figure out how whatever works you can pretty much go to their tutorial hub and they'll show you step by step how it works or what you need to do now apart from that they have a lot of packages that are very affordable now once again we can see the 99.99% .99 uptime guarantee so in terms of downtime it is also a good platform now what I like about Hostgator is that the performance is pretty good and they do offer an amazing 45 day money back guarantee. So even if you're not sure whether this is the right option for you, you can get a 45 day money back guarantee. Now if we take a look at the uptime, we can see it's 99.9%. .9 if we compare that to Namecheap, it's pretty much the same. So in terms of the uptime and downtime, it's going to be a tie. Now what I don't like about Hostgator is that the performance of the um, live chat and uh, support team is not great so it takes a while to get a hold of them so if you're having issues with your website 
it might be a pain to get a hold of them and for them to actually help you out. So that's a downside for HostGator. Now, if we compare that to Namecheap, they do have a pretty decent customer support. However, you cannot call them, so there's no phone support. So on Namecheap, it's just got to be the live chat and you're then going to get in contact with someone on their team. All right, so who is better? Is it HostGator or is it Namecheap? I do want to start off by saying that both platforms are actually really good. So like whoever is going to win, it doesn't mean that the other one is going to be a really bad platform. Both of them are great. So if you go with either of them, you're going to be in safe hands. Now, in terms of the platform itself, Namecheap makes it really easy to have hosting, managing domains in one place and make it really easy to do so. So managing all of it has become really easy by using Namecheap and that's also what it's known for. On HostGator, however, that is a little bit more complicated. It's still pretty easy. However, it's not as easy as on Namecheap. So if you want the simple and the easiest process, then definitely go with Namecheap. However, HostGator has a lot of different stuff within one specific platform. So they have domain uh, registration, they've got web hosting, of course, which is what we're covering. And then they also have website design and builder tools that you can then use for a decent price to build up your website. Now, in terms of the money back guarantee, HostGator also wins because it's a 45 day money back guarantee. And on Namecheap, it's 30 days, which is still pretty good. Now, in terms of the performance, like I said, the servers in terms of speed and uptime are pretty similar. So that's gonna be a tie. In my opinion, Namecheap is the close winner. It's pretty similar. The platforms are both really good and very similar. So in terms of that, there's not that much of a difference. However, this is really cheap and they offer you a great service for the price you have to pay. That is pretty much it for this video. If this simple video helps you out, I would appreciate it if you can leave a like on the video. Like I said, I'm not getting paid to say any of this and I won't leave any affiliate links. So leave a like on the video. That would help me out in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. You can also check out more videos about website hosting where I compare other platforms. Click on the video on the screen and then I'll see you there.